Hey guys, George from Soundtracks here, and today we're going to talk about sound channels and why it matters to you. Now, the Tsunami 2 has 16 independent sound channels, and we're going to compare that to one of our competitors' products with only eight channels right now. Now, when we talk about sound channels, we talk about different sounds that the decoder is capable of playing all at the same time. Now, our Tsunami 2 is set up with 16 independent sound channels. That means it will play up to 16 different sounds at the same time. Our nearest competitor boasts that they have eight independent sound channels. Now, the reason this is important is because when you're trying to recreate the spectrum of a locomotive through sound, you've got so many different appliances, especially on a steam locomotive, that are all making noise and it really brings a symphony of sound out of the locomotive. The locomotive decoder now no longer has to play a lot of the if-then game and what that means is that if this sound is playing, this one cannot. So let's take a look at one of our competitor's products here and kind of see how that plays. Now with this locomotive right here, it's equipped with one of our competitor's products. Now we're going to turn on the air compressor using function 14. Now one of the things you're going to notice is that as soon as I play the bell sound with the F1, you're going to hear that air compressor go away. It doesn't really sound natural, it's really more of an abrupt. As soon as I turn off the bell though, the air compressor sound returns. Now this is what we're talking about when we talk about sound channels. The Tsunami 2 decoder does not have to play the if-then game. And now we'll move over to the Tsunami 2. Now our Tsunami 2, you can hear the air compressor already going. I haven't had to turn on a function because the decoder is intelligently watching how we're using our brakes and triggering the sound effects. Now some of the other sounds you're also hearing in the background is the blower and you're also hearing the oil atomizer because this is an oil burning locomotive. Now these sounds are just automatically playing in the background because that's how we've set up the decoder. Now we'll go ahead and turn on our headlight. You're going to hear the dynamo spool up. And my compressor is still going. We're also going to turn on our bell. And you can hear the compressor still going. So now we're going to move forward, we're going to turn on our exhaust chuff, and we're going to turn on our cylinder cocks. And all of that, none of these sounds are cutting out to play the other sounds. You're still hearing all of those sounds as the locomotive would be in the real world, reproducing all of those sounds for you. Now that we've seen both locomotives side by side, and you can kind of see how channel number affects the overall sounds of the locomotive. Now you can see how a Tsunami 2 decoder is really going to make your locomotive sound more realistic and more lifelike than some of the competitors' products on the market. So for more information, please go to our website at Soundtracks.com, check out our user's guide, and if you have any questions, contact our support department, and we'll help you any way we can.